Hey, what's up, Coop Troop? This is Serena Mort! And, uh, Snoopy. <laughs> and, uh, right now it's... I think we're trying to actually kill each other? What the heck? It's weird. I was not expecting this. Um, but of course I don't really understand why, either. <laughs> yeah, we just got orders to kill each other. I... Th uh, yeah, I'm pretty confused, really. <laughs> We have no HUD or anything. No. And we're not in our weird uniforms either, so... Yeah, we don't... so... What? <laughs> um... We're not in multiplayer mode. This is still campaign, right? <laughs> oh. What? Is that oh. all I had to do? <laughs> you just had to punch me? Eh? Yeah. Why couldn't I just punch you? I was trying to shoot you. Did I just kill you? I think so? It is. As it is. What? Right. Why? Why'd you have to kill me? Why'd I have to kill you? And why did you just one single punch take me down when I took bullets of plenty yeah. in the previous mission? What happened? Well, I'm an asshole. Oh, my eyes aren't closed. That didn't work. <laughs> Oh no! Goblin! You traitorous channel stealer! <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't. I I didn't understand a whole lot of the story so far. But what? What? Is that conviction? It's another heat of sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that, that's it? Really? That's it? We that kill is each the other. Splinter Cell conclusion. <sighs> what was that? I know Ubisoft has weird ways to end games, as in like Raymond Origins. That, well, that whole game didn't really make much sense. <laughs> but it was a fun game because yeah. it was just kind of going through whatever. And What? I didn't get the ending. We, we did all this stuff, and then they had to kill us? Yeah, and then they killed us both. Yeah, did, did we know too much or something? Like, I don't get it. Like, is it one of those situations, or is it just like, not we're not needed anymore? Or... Oh, wait a minute. Or is it... This is supposed to be a prequel to the single-player campaign. Don't yeah, tell me yeah. something's supposed to be. And I'm starting to remember some of the single-player... Okay, it makes sense in the context of the single-player campaign. Sort of. And as far, and so far as the single-player campaign makes sense at all, <laughs> I think this... I think basically we thought we were working for the US and Russia, but we actually weren't. We were being manipulated by one guy who was manipulating both the US and Russia in order... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Maybe I won't try. I think I kind of get what you're saying. And then, I guess in the single player, you're sent to go get the guys that trick, that tricked these two or whatever? Or tricked the US and Russia? Yeah, because he ended up, because what he wanted or... was the... The MP, the AMP, not the, MP, the MP3. No. The MP3. <laughs> he, he wanted his favorite song. <laughs> he wanted the EMP. Not a very good audio format, but he it's decent the, enough, I guess. He wanted the EMP to assassinate the president or something like that. Which president? Ours. The okay. United States. Because there's also the Russian president he gave for, but not as much, I guess, impact. Yeah, but that's Vladimir Putin, and you know, <laughs> yeah, there's not much, There wouldn't be much impact. In fact, some people might be happy. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that. that. I mean, woe to the assassin that tries to kill that man. <laughs> that is a terrifying individual. Good point. <laughs> point. Doesn't he, like, hunt tigers in his free time or something? I thought he was, like, hunting elephants and had their tusks and stuff. This is crazy, man. Yeah. Or, no, he was, like, did a safari hunting. That was actually a huge media upset and stuff, but, uh... Anyways, this game, it's fun, All right. but that ending... <laughs> that was a dumb ending. It was a dumb ending, wow. And seriously, a punch? Have... A, I, a punch? Well, I mean, really? We were, we, were, we were basically to each other, we are basically just mooks. Yeah. yeah, no, but I mean, like, we went through all that, taking so many bullets and punches and whatever, being held against, you know, like, doing all sorts yeah. of different stuff like that. And all it takes in the end is for one of the other guys to punch the other guy, and he's dead. What can I say, man? I'm like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Wow. Float like, like a butterfly, butterfly punch, your, uh, punch your friend in the face. <laughs> Alright, that's how it goes. And then immediately cause him to bleed from the neck for some reason. 
And, and the things that we did to the other, when we tried, and when we were interrogating those uh, other random people, you know. Yeah, and they were just fine. Good grief. They were fine after, like, crunching their necks, smashing them in the paintings, clocks, desks, whatever you, you name it, we pretty much did it to them. <laughs> well, not, well, not necessarily, but you burned a guy, so. Oh, yeah. I, I fried him. The very him. first one or whatever. I second fried one. him. Yeah. And then, again, at the end, a punch to the face kills one of us off. I was like trying to shoot you, and, I was, you and then know, the like, other guy one headshot. That would kill, man. I I, I get that, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I was supposed to kill you with like a headshot, but it shouldn't have been like an airplane too. If they were gonna have us go up against one another, then it should have been in like a giant hangar with all of our gear and stuff. You know, and like each of us has a bunch of wait, but teammates. Hold or on, something. I'm thinking about it again. On my screen, it had, you know, Archer or whatever, looking in the mirror, like, watching his face off or whatever. On your screen, you had a message on your um, your phone or whatever. It said, eliminate Kestrel. But that's you! Unless you intercepted something. I, I didn't understand that either. I think it was that I intercepted Did it. a message probably to me or whatever? Yeah. But that's stupid. It, it would have been better if it was actually, like, you got a message saying eliminate Archer, and I got this message saying eliminate Kestrel, and then we just kind of... I think it did. I, th I think I got that too. I don't know. I wasn't paying a tremendous amount of attention. No, I was saying I was just kind of really confused about the whole thing. But it sure didn't take me long. If if, <laughs> if it, all I did was intercept this message, it sure didn't take me long to decide to kill you. <laughs> Seriously, we're just like we've been working together for like about a week now. You know, we, you know, got a good relationship together. Yeah. One been, me one been, text message. Been through like seven yeah. hairy hairy situations, ridiculously hairy situations. Get a text message. You've saved my life five hundred <laughs> times. Yeah, was, Die. <laughs> Oh, my Facebook friend told me to kill the other guy. All right. <laughs> it's like a man. I, I take my orders from a magic eight ball. Yeah, seriously. I mean, Ubisoft. No, it's a good game, and the co-op is really fun. No, I, I did like. The, I, I like the gameplay. Like overall, it's really fun. It's a good mix of stealth and action. Although we kind of mostly went to action, but we did try to do some stealth of ports and. Sometimes it worked, and well, I mean, most of the time it resulted just shooting everything. We did like the, we did the stealth action hybrid, so we did a lot of throwing people off. Yeah, of Which, but like you, you could see that you can get through the game pretty much all stealth. Yeah. Uh, well, most of it. Some sometimes it was like, no, you have to fight yourself, you know, to victory or whatever. Yeah. Um, but mo well, I, think I, I actually don't think you ever have to fight like that. No, the stand, the stand fast, the standoff kind of where you have to wait yeah, for the helicopter I guess, to come by. Right. And there's also. Um, I don't know. I think there's one other place too. But if but... you could hide sufficiently well, then you wouldn't actually have to kill most. True. Of them. You could probably run around and hide from them and all, and probably work. That's a really good challenge to try to do. Yeah. But I don't... <laughs> we can't do that. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> not uh, like uh, with the volume this low and everything. And the thing is that the co-op is that the co-op. It's a it's an okay length, I guess. But then uh, for well, the it's not, it's not supposed to be like it's not mainly a co-op. Yeah, I know exactly. But the thing is, uh, the guns we only use like three guns at most, and yeah. well, actually we just I mean for most of it we use two guns, but we I think we you picked up like used tried out four guns, five guns at total. Well, I know I know in the story I had a gun. I remember this that I could do like six tags. It was ridiculous. Yeah, we I would, just, up to I would three. wipe out armies with this gun. Well, we had up to three, and I guess technically if we had six different people, you could do six different people co-op. But yeah. again, the guns you can pick, you can pretty much just upgrade the two guns that you like best and stick with them throughout the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh... I don't know. I like it. I like it. It's nothing. Definitely nothing great. It feels yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, but but it's a fun game to play. If you have it feels a like a really good tech demo. You know. It feels yeah. like a really good. From 2010, a few years after the Xbox 360 and all the other systems are out, pretty yeah. much. By that point... Well, I mean, it feels like a really good tech demo for that, for for that type of gameplay. Okay, for co-op gameplay kind of stuff, for stealth Yeah, because I've never really seen Krav Maga specialist. Jeez. Well, I mean, um, what about, like, uh, uh, you know, like, a Splinter Cell, like, a Chaos Theory? That was actually just decent co-op. Yeah, it was, it was, that was actually... That was from 2005. Well, that's like a completely different kind of... Uh, that's true. ...kind of game. Yeah, I guess so this type of game, uh, was... this like really demonstrated. I don't know. To, in my mind, it's interesting to see how this, uh, how this, especially in the Assassin's Creed series, play off each other. Yes. This quite clearly takes a lot of cues from Assassin's Creed, like the pulling people over the edge. I think that's the yeah. same animation. No, it from, definitely looked like that. I mean, Assassin's Ubisoft, Creed. of course, made the Assassin's Creed series, and this comes a few years after the first game. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it the first one was like 2007. I think it actually comes after the second one, doesn't it? The second yeah, one was I'm, I, think, I, think. I think so too. So it already had some time to build up 
yeah. all that sort of gameplay in Assassin's Creed, so they probably just incorporate. Yeah, yeah. I saw you incorporate a lot of that in this game, which is yeah. fun. I mean, I did like uh, that game. But I mean, yeah, you you can but, see a lot of you can the different developers they they build off of their good franchises like Dice. They uh, if if you look at in Battlefield Three, Dice the the jump over kick that the people do running around that's from Mirror's Edge. Yeah, when you jump over mm -hmm. something and. Uh, Ubisoft, you can see a lot of Assassin's Creed, really obviously, mm -hmm. in Far Cry 3. I'm disappointed Creed. they didn't incorporate any Rabbids aspect into this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm so relieved. Yeah. <laughs> or any Rayman aspects. Like, why didn't they throw their fists? Or, they, you know? Rayman's good. Or, but, or just know, after, start punching After Rabbids yeah. land. Unless it, well, well Rabbids land technically came after this game, so. Unless it was invade Rab Rabbids land and kill everything. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, like I said, that didn't happen until afterwards. So. Yeah. I think at this point, Rabbit's 2, Rabbit, Raymond Rabbit's like 2, or maybe even TV Party came out, so you'd have all the mini games, sort of Rabbit stuff. Duh. And actually, in fact, in Rabbit's 2, they have one of the costumes, is a Sam Fisher costume for the Rabbit. Oh, heinous. Yeah. <laughs> and they also had like an Assassin's Creed costume, or the LZ, uh, Al Altair, I think, from the first <laughs> game, so costume. It didn't really, yeah. they're all the same. I mean, after, every, after everything I said, I don't think that this game <laughs> borrows a whole lot from the Ra from the Rabbids series. <laughs> yeah. Is, has it gone through this already? I thought we already went through voices. These are additional voices. Uh, okay. <laughs> there weren't this many people in the game. Oh, wait. So. Yeah, okay. Historic and linguistic consultant. <laughs> Just yeah, in a case. lot of people work on this game. Yeah, all of the history in 2012. Uh, I swear we've seen the voice talent stuff before, right? Oh no, this is oh this is voice talent for the Spanish version. They've gone through the different versions. Voice oh talent gosh, we'll be here all night. Ubisoft kind of does that with their credits. Yeah, well I mean the they're, huge, they're a big multinational. They, corporation. Yeah, they are a huge corporation. I mean they they based in they're off they're based in France, you know, and they have one the Ubisoft based, Montreal. Is, based in France, their best development studios in Mont in Canada. Yeah. Um, well, that's that's the one that also does the rap. It's yeah. actually funny a way to tie that in. <laughs> but uh, well, it's it's barely in Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's but it is in Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but they like to credit all the different groups, which is nice. You know, it's it's good to give all the teams credit and stuff. Yeah. But this Italian, Jeez. yeah, they went Italian. I mean, they did a bunch of translations. I think all the translations for the typical European, like a uh, you know English, yeah. French, He's Spanish, Italian, the German. I wonder if they even did Russian, because, I mean, there's a Russian character in this. And Russian, you were in Russia for the co-op, and yeah. I'm assuming the single player does in Russia. I haven't actually played the single player really at all. Maybe a little bit, but not. I don't know the story, really. Give him props if was Hungarian. The river crossing. Biggest damn catfish I've ever seen. The heck? The important stuff is what happened in the tire. I don't know who's talking, and why they're talking about fishing. What? I get. Anyway. We're in this bar pretending to be tourists. Do you know when who that is? Comes yeah, that's like, uh, that's Sam Fisher. He's the narrator from the single player. That's like Sam Fisher's best friend or something. And, and he sucked. reveals the most convoluted, overdone yeah, story. So well, he's talking about fishing and other things, I guess. He walks up to Sam, sizes him up, and asks him if he wants to buy an elf. A full grown he's just elf. rambling. What? There's what? What is this guy adding to? He's just rambling. <laughs> I guess they're like, well, we got five more minutes, you know, with this guy. You know, we paid from this, you know, five more minutes with this guy. So uh, just kind of talk about whatever, dude. All right. Well, one time I went fishing and caught this giant catfish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just, I don't know. It's funny, I guess, in a way. But why? Cool as ice, just like that. And the guy. What? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> no, but there's Egg? A, there's a Dutch version. I think I made the right decision. Somebody's name is Egg? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Huh. Oh, whoa, look. Dutch, Danish, Norwegian, Swedish, Polish, Russian. So, okay, uh, yeah. They had quite a few, but no Hungarian. Yeah. <laughs> have fun trying to translate into Hungarian. Oh, they have Czech. Huh. Oh my god, wow. Enzyme testing labs, worldwide So production. many credits. Jeez. Oh, wow. It's kind of cool. I mean, a lot of different people from a lot of different countries collaborated on this. Yeah, but they so, do. But they collaborate on a lot of Ubisoft games. Yeah. But that's kind of cool. I mean, they have all this, you know, kind of um, involvement with Pin all these different places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
It's definitely more encouraging to see this than, than it was watching. Uh, Bjorn. Them. That's a very nice Swedish name. Bjorn. Yeah. It's kind of... Watching, Olga. watching the... Uh, All right. Watching yeah. the Rabbids Land credits. <laughs> well, they had pictures in that one, but oh, it's yeah. probably best to... Not... Horrify. I still have nightmares. Probably it's best not to show themselves, though, with that game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and now all the music seems to be gone. Sam Fisher, or Sam Fisher's narrator, he's gone. They're just like, yeah, you're still here? Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, you're security groups now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Like, it's like... I guess that's... Secu- that's is this security for the company? Building security, <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing. Okay, I mean, I know it's good to credit a bunch of people that work on the team in the game, but... Do they even work on the game? Local just... donut shop owner. <laughs> yeah. I like to thank <laughs> my mom, yeah, brother, gonna, gonna say, sister, producer's my mother, pet. producer's mother, <laughs> my pet, my goldfish. <laughs> QA team. QA team lead is below security? Come on. Uh, that's kind of mean. Oh, I bet I know what it is. I bet uh, security is network security. Oh, okay. That makes a little more prevent, sense. It's not, not just like yeah, to prevent, guard to security. Prevent cheaters, yeah. To prevent cheaters. Mm. They're programmers. What? Okay. Uh, anything else you think about this, the game, I guess, co-op-wise? Uh, I like this font. It is a very nice font. It's very bold. and it, it, Yeah. What can you say about a font? Come on, it's it's all white on a black like, background. Yeah, it's it's very easy to notice. It's excellent, a, excellent kerning, mm-hmm. and it's scroll. It's uh it's very concise and always in, in, always centered. It's vertical. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in fact a vertical scroll. And look, uh, tools they have nicknames in there too. You know, it's it's kind of nice. Also, it's kind of you know. Also, their team neat. names are counterintuitive. Uh, Dare and Oasis. Rendezvous and platform rendezvous. team. Whatever. So again, the co-op, I guess, overall, it's good. I like the game. Uh, like I said, if you have a friend over and you have this game, it's good to pop in and probably play for a couple hours. Yeah. It's it's maybe a little bit difficult to kind of, well, like it doesn't really give you what, how to play the game and stuff at first. And you kind of figure yeah. it out, but at least the first level is I could, pretty, fairly easy enough to get through it without really knowing everything. I could be wrong, but my intuition is that this game will really shine on a really hard difficulty. So yeah, we're kind of doing like I, the you, more normal difficulty Yeah, we're here. on normal difficulty. You and I would absolutely get clobbered, but if we, if we got a little better, then when it was co- like completely unforgiving, yeah, that would be, it, it would be really, really cool to like actually get through it. Yeah. Because huh. it's those, it's the one of those games where you compile like runs, you know? So where, yeah. when you've accomplished something, there was a sequence of events that led up to it and that generally looks kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I also got to say that for the ending, where we had to kill each other, I didn't really feel for any of the characters. Even if my guy died, I was like, what? Why did he get punched and die? But I didn't care for the guy if he died or not. To be, to be fair, though. He didn't though, have any personalities whatsoever, really. To be fair, though, that might be because we had the volume really low and couldn't... We had subtitles, too, and they were telling each other... Well, I mean, like, I guess there might be they some banter. Get, they didn't always get subtitles, though. It was weird. Sometimes, but even the banter... Like when, you, when you revived me, like, happened constantly, um, <laughs> we never got Please. subtitles for that. Well, sometimes you get them, but I guess a lot of times... I would always say dickish things to you, and it would never show up. Yeah. I could never quite tell what I was saying. So, so what, you're kind of like an asshole, and I'm just kind of like an asshole as well. Or I look like a I look like a douchebag, you sound like an asshole. Yeah. So, yeah, great character, <laughs> great lovable characters, everyone. I mean, but you don't really need lovable characters for a stealth shooter game. Especially not if you're going to kill them both in the conclusion. True, yeah, good point. It was a weird, weird attempted heartwarming moment with Kestrel there at the end where he closed uh, Archer's eyes and tried to <laughs> look sad. But Archer didn't have his eyes closed. Yeah. And, yeah. So it kind of looked like and Kestrel then, was just poking him in the eyes. And then in the moment, just like, it tries to be sad, but not for too long, because you have to have some drama and the guy shoots you in the head. Yeah. So that was kind of quickly over. And then the plane flies off into the... Uh, behind the explosion or something like that, the sun the rise. rise. Or, <laughs> what is this? Like some sort of weird western ending, kind of in this, or off into the sunset, except flying in a plane, <laughs> and nothing's really happy about it. <laughs> yeah, that's flying into the dawn, showing it's flying east, maybe. Yeah. No, it had that's... to be. It had to be the sun. 
Well, okay, we, but this, no, it was it was, we were, it was uh, at night, so it, it must have been the dawn. It must have been the dawn. It had to be. And it was flying east. What? You're flying east towards if we run Russia, we'd be flying you know towards China and Japan and the east you know East Asians. Or toward Alaska, but there's I guess maybe they stored it in Alaska. That well, I, I guess I, I don't know the single player campaign, so maybe that ties they into had to, that. They had to get it to DC. It ends I, up in DC. The EMP. Yeah. Okay, so I guess it makes sense from Russia to go east. Maybe it depends on where no. in Russia, right? No, well, I mean, not from any like any of the like pop- populated places. No, yeah, I mean, I'm reasonably I mean, certain all, all the really all the really Europe. populated places in Russia are in you know the western, very very Russia. western, yeah. yeah, in Eastern Europe. <laughs> so Bucharest, jeez, <sighs> you have a team in Bucharest. Really? Additional contributions from additional management. And I, who? Additional script writing. Additional. Okay. You didn't, um... <sighs> Eric St. Jean. Hmm. So, yeah. <sighs> Confused about why they take it to the east instead of just going west. Although... We might be... Th- we, there's a possibility we're overthinking this. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of reminds me of the, uh, the whole story from... What is it? The Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? Where all of Russia... Where that new kind of Russian army kind of invades the U.S., flying over Europe and no one in Europe decides to try to stop them or like realizes and doesn't even like warn the US it doesn't seem like because like the US is not like prepared at all and they get invaded well, how by do Russia we not know I mean we we own GPS exactly but we it was like it was like but it seemed like it, it could, but it seemed like it's a complete surprise in that game when they invaded and took over Washington DC and stuff yeah but it's Call of Duty man I mean it is the story's they're are, not really trying they're not you're not playing for the story they're playing for the multiplayer online that's what people yeah. buy the game for they're not buying for the story and it's a pretty crap story but anyways <laughs> i mean they kind of why are we talking about Call of Duty anyways i'm sorry <laughs> as as yet cuz will somebody please invade America <laughs> 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 it's like maybe we should just start World War Three. Come on, everybody! You know, it's like we're just just get into it. Hey, China, maybe you should get involved as well too. You know. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think Yahtzee also did a review on this game, but I haven't seen that one in a long time. This one? I think so. Yeah, I think his uh, his conclusion was that the enemy AI talks too much, <laughs> which is we, kind of the universal conclusion. Which yeah, everyone. <laughs> it's funny in a stealth game. Why would you try to? talk a whole lot to give your position away specifically to give your position away <laughs> you might think well they're trying to you know actually i'm not sure what they're trying to do they're trying to i guess like make him upset with like you're trying well, to get us to make get upset at them or compa- out hiding, compa- or? do you remember the uh do you remember the hud and the the interface from uh from chaos theory a little bit yeah so there were like symbols in the corner and there were like maps and stuff and yeah yeah uh-huh. you push the arrow keys and different kind of headsets came up they wanted to simplify it a lot for this, I, I think. See, we only had the one headset, which was like a mix of thermal and... It was a mix of a couple of different things. Yeah. But we had see. virtually no HUD. Like, we don't even have, like, yeah. a health bar or That's anything That's kind of like nice. That. I like how you have the screens a little more open and clear. Right. So they needed different ways to communicate the different stuff. So where before we had a light bar to show how visible you are, now it does the black, black and white, white thing. color. That is really cool. That's a cool which, effect. Which is cool. I also like the fact where they have the uh, objective on the walls when you get up to it. That's, I know we're making fun of it like has hallucinations or whatever, but it is, it is a really cool idea. Yeah. And it, it really helps the game flow more smoothly. So you don't have to like pause and you have to check what the objective is. It's right in front of you. Or if, like you said, you press the back button anytime. It, it shows up right on the ground in front of you or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's really, that's a really cool idea as well. Yeah. Anyway, anything to make the game streamlined and not as annoying to go through menus. It's a lot of cool ideas. I don't know. It would, it'd be cool to see a game like this, like <laughs> in a... <laughs> Wow. In a space Walk setting text. or something, you know, like in a sci-fi setting. Mm-hmm. Sticking to the real world maybe holds it back. Hey, Unreal Technology. Woo. Just a, just like every game ever. Yeah. <laughs> Technology of Massive Incorporated. Quote, massive. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, Microsoft. <laughs> uh, and it enables in-game advertising. <laughs> <laughs> What, wow. was there, like, Coke bottles somewhere or certain wine products being advertised? I yeah, I'm sure, like, uh, probably not in this campaign, possibly a little bit, but in, like, the single-player campaign when you head through urban districts and stuff. And there we the, go. The ads are updated. And probably, yeah. There we go. End of all the credits. That took, like, I don't know, 15 <laughs> minutes or yeah, more. Almost 20. Like but there you go. Got through all the co-op 
and Splinter Cell Conviction. At the end of the day, I think it was good. I think it was good. Good job, Ubisoft Montreal. Good job. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's like online multiplayer and stuff, but I doubt people are playing it nowadays. I doubt people were playing it ever. Yeah. It's kind of a shame because it is a good game. Not great, but good enough for people I mean, to if, check it even out. Even if it just came out, I wouldn't be playing it online. It's it's yeah. better for it's, local yeah. co-op and stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching us, our co-op of this game. Uh, yeah. Once again, I'm Sir No Mortz. Uh, Snoopy. Right, and we actually didn't have Coops at all this time. It's kind of a little strange. One of the first LPs without him, you know. Yeah. But I uh, hope you enjoyed, uh, and uh, we had a great fun doing this game. And hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I'm repeating myself now. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. You're allowed to. Re you're allowed to repeat yourself. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. But not for too long because yeah. I gotta get to bed. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for watching. Peace. Take it easy, y'all. <laughs>